during the sandstorm period of qualification match 67. We see robots moving, but not a lot happening. And now that tele up has started, we have teams already going toward the cargo ship, trying to place the cargo into their slots. While Red Alliance is doing so, Blue Alliance quickly follows, trying to catch up to the Red Alliance, who is currently leading by six points. Over on the Blue Alliance side of the field, the Red Alliance is trying to make some defense for 52-15, trying to prevent them from going toward the cargo ship. While their Alliance partner has a hatch panel in hand and a cargo, on the Red Alliance, we have teams grabbing cargo, trying to place them into the cargo ship, while their Alliance partner, 5562, is trying to grab a hatch panel. 68, 5086 is trying to grab what looks like a cargo ball from their human player station, while 5774 is trying to play some defense on 3535 and 5697. 5697 having that hatch panel in hand, trying to maneuver around the Red Alliance toward their rocket. The Blue Alliance 3535 is trying to put cargo into the cargo slot of the ship, but will they succeed or will they drop it? They're kind of teeter-tottering, but they succeed. The Red Alliance is, has a cargo piece in hand, trying to put it toward the cargo ship, it looks like, but that could change. 5774 is trying to block the Blue Alliance from reaching the ships, while 5562 is trying to place cargo into the cargo ship for their alliance. 5086 grabbing another cargo piece while their alliance member struggles to put that cargo ball into the cargo ship. They're almost dropping it out, but somehow still, oh, and they dropped it out. 5774 trying, still trying to maneuver around the Blue Alliance, who's trying to score into their own cargo ship. The Blue Alliance is barely leading by five points. And you know that sound. It's 30 seconds left on the clock. While the Blue Alliance is trying to do their own thing by scoring into the rocket, Red Alliance is still trying to have defense on them. 35-35 going to line themselves on the hab, trying to get on that second tier, while the Red Alliance is not trying to climb the tiers. They're trying to score more. And the Blue Alliance, 35-35, is almost secured onto the second podium of the hab, while their alliance partners are trying to park themselves. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in that last match, due to another G5 violation, the Blue Alliance will be earning an additional ranking point. With that being said, let's look at the scores. The Blue Alliance wins this match, leading the Red Alliance 47 to 36. The Blue Alliance earning three ranking points in the process.